What's up guys? We're doing another video. Today, we're going to be talking about five NBA players that could be the cover athlete of NBA 2K21. Decorate your block of red tape, phone them sliding their day, bunch of hollows spinning out the Glock. I've been serving fiends all day, out there posted with the gang, nigga, we was talking. What's up guys? We're doing another video. Today, we're going to be talking about five NBA players that could be the cover athlete of NBA 2K21. So, before we start this, I want to tell you guys a couple a couple needs and requirements so they can actually make it. Like, you can't. I don't think it's going to be Zion because he's literally played 15 games and he's not a 90 overall. For the past 10 years, maybe a little bit more, probably 10, 15 years, Every single cover athlete has been above a 90 overall. Like right here, Kyrie Irving, he was a 90 overall. This year, Anthony Davis, I'm pretty sure in 2K19, I don't know what overall he was. I think he was a 94. I can see it on the screen, but I, he was higher than a 90. So basically, everybody was higher than a 90. Also, they have to have some type of accolade in their career. Like They have to be... A star in this league they have to be playing right now like that's why I don't think it's gonna be Zion because he's only he hasn't played much and he's not a star yet he I know he definitely will be a star but he's not gonna be a star yet and also number three is that they have to have played this in, in this season so if you guys think it's gonna be Kevin Durant Steph Curry, I know Steph Curry did play, but not much, only six games. So, like, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, it's not going to be them. I don't think it's a very low chance, especially because Kevin Durant was a cover athlete to get 15, and Steph Curry was the multi, like, cover athlete. He was, like, a partial cover athlete to get 16. So I don't think it's going to be him. But, um, yeah, those are the um, needs and requirements for my list. And yeah, let's go on to number five. Number five is Damian Lillard. Okay, so Damian Lillard, obviously, he it should he should be on anybody's list. Like I put him, I think this is low, but we have a lot of other players. Damian Lillard has been dominating for so many years. He's been a 90 overall for the longest time. He's been leading his team to the playoffs every year. He's got to do it this year. I know he's 9 seed, but when he fights, when he plays for the 8 seed, I know he's going to win. It's probably going to be Lakers, Trailblazers in the first round of the playoffs, which is my opinion. But That's who I think it's going to be. Damian Lillard is a very good pick also because he, he's been he's just been leading his team this entire time, man. He's been an amazing player. He's never been a 2K cover a cover athlete. He's been on NBA Live, as you see right here. I think NBA Live 15. I have that game, so pretty sure it was NBA Live 15. He was on the cover, but he's never been a 2K cover athlete, which kind of sucks because he's been really good, so he kind of deserves it. So on to number four. Okay, so number four is going to be James Harden. So the reason why I'm picking, like, players that wear red jerseys is because all the boxes that YouTubers are getting, I've been watching like 2K21, like stuff like that. All of the boxes that people are getting, they're all red. Like the theme of 2K21 is like m like mostly red. So that's why I'm thinking Damian Lillard, James Harden, more players to come up. But yeah, James Harden literally has been averaging 30 plus for like the past three seasons three, four seasons. He's been the greatest scorer in the league. The best scorer in the league. And he's never been an actual main cover, cover athlete. So, I think he deserves it. I mean, I know he is like the main ball handler for every team that he's on, and he's always had the ball, so he's always scoring, doing something. So, it's like... A lot of people hate on James Harden, including me, not going to lie, because of the questionable calls that he gets from refs. And honestly, yeah, he travels a lot. 
my dog snoring in the background. But I have this mic, so yeah, you won't be able to hear it that well. But <laughs> um, yeah, he does travel a lot. He does have a lot of questionable stuff going around. But I think that doesn't take away for how good he is. So yeah, let's go on to number three. Number three is Russell Westbrook. He also gets a lot of hate. He gets more hate than James Harden just because of how crazy he is on the court and how hyped he always is and how angry he always gets. But that he just loves those loves the game and he's been an all-star for so long making the playoffs well not really doing good in them, but you know he's been averaging triple doubles like he averaged three triple doubles in a row and he hasn't been a 2k color athlete unless i'm wrong but i don't think he's been like russell westbrook on a 2k color athlete like if you think of it like it, you think it's right but like it doesn't it has never happened he was in the finals he could actually be in the finals, but I don't think he's going to be in the finals. I think he'll also be the Lakers. But, yeah, that's why I think Russell Westbrook. On to number two. Number two is Kawhi Leonard. So, Kawhi Leonard literally has two rings. He's won. I'm pretty sure he's won Defensive Player of the Year a couple times. He's been amazing. He's won finals MVP twice. He's just been amazing for as long as I can remember. He's been so good. He's been, he's the closest thing to Michael Jordan in this league right now. He got huge hands. He can he's like he's the closest thing to Michael Jordan in my opinion in this league. He is very dominant. Insanely hard to guard. His stop and pop mid range is unbelievable. How he does it. He can grip the ball just holding it out like this. Man, he's a amazing player. But before we go on to number one, let's do an honorable mention. My honorable mention is Nikola Jokic. You really thought it was going to be Nikola? No. Yeah, it is Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I, I was trying to show you guys because um, he doesn't get much hype. Like, Nikola Jokic has been, he's been so good. But, like, if you ask, if you ask someone... Like, a person who, like, knows about basketball, doesn't really watch it much. Like, if you watch them, if you ask them and you say, hey, do you know who LeBron is? Do you know who Kawhi is? Do you know who James Harden is? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry? They're all going to say yes. But when you tell them Nikola Jokic, they're going to be like, who is that? He's probably horrible. Like, I've literally been, I asked, I even asked, like, my friends and my parents and stuff. They don't know who he is. But he's literally been averaging, like, 20, 10, and 7, like, beautiful center numbers. He is a center. Like, if you look at those numbers, you're like, oh, he's just like a Russell Westbrook-type point guard. He's not. <laughs> he's a center <laughs> doing stuff like that. So, yeah, that's why I have him as an honorable mention. Number one is Luka Doncic for me. Come on. Luka Doncic is a 96 overall in this game. He is undoubtedly the best 21-year-old in this league right now. And... You can't take away for how good he is. He's an MVP candidate, and he's 21. He's done so much in the little time he's been in the league. He is one of our next-gen superstars. Already is becoming a superstar. And he's been in the league for less than two seasons. He is averaging a near triple-double, 30 points per game. You cannot... He's never been a 2K cutter athlete. He's a 90-plus overall. He played this season most of the season so you can't take away for how good he is I think Luka Doncic deserves it if he doesn't if he doesn't get it this year it's got to be Kawhi or any players on this list and if he doesn't get it this year he's going to get it sometime soon because he deserves it so yeah thank you guys for watching this video I'm signing off for now peace out